Hello everyone, Duke here with part 36 of this Austria campaign, Napoleon Total War. And we are carrying on with a massive turning point in the war against Prussia, with them pretty much hemmed into their central states. And we've kept Bavaria nice and safe. Uh, Poland is about to be uh, reformed. I think we're one turn away from that. Uh, and then we will... So now I think the main thing to do is we're going to get Archduke Charles to march south and help deal with the Russians that have uh, entered northern Italy. So we can certainly help and take out this army here. Uh, they've abandoned their position. Oh, would you look at that? We can't actually reach. We'll just have to... Oh, we can. Okay, that was deceptive. Oh, we got our Italian allies to help as well. Maybe we can just watch them do most of the fighting. Um, oh, no. That's the wrong episode, isn't it? That was uh, the other day. We want this one. Right, so. Uh, yeah. Cossacks and Musketeers, Grenadiers. Not bad, but very small. And um, we've got a lot of Italian Hussars and infantry. We're going to see them in battle again. And we have Archduke Charles Legion, the Czechs, and the Regent. Oh, yeah, this is a good army. And a nine-star general. Oh, it just doesn't get better than that, does it? Um, this is just an elite army now. Just so elite. Elite units, elite trained artillery, and an elite general. God, oh, it's just amazing now. And, of course, we have um, a lot of Italians to help us. Sweeping in from the rear, actually, I should think. So, hopefully, we'll be able to let them do most of the fighting. Why not? It's their land. The Battle of Northern Italy. Let's get ready to rumble. I'm not even really going to deploy my artillery out properly. I'll limber them, but I'm not going to fire well. And then we'll put the uh, infantry just out in a line um, to shoot at them if they do decide to come on. Let's have a little look at some of our elite stuff here. This is... Um, oh, wait. Okay, I'll just move the cavalry out of the way. Put that there. Like that. Oh. There. And Charlie. Go there. Right. Archduke Charles' legion. Let's have Archduke Charles inspect his own men. Let's come on, let's put it there. This was a bid to copy the success of Napoleon's Grand Armée. Um. Highly respected field marshal recognised that the Austrian army needed modernising and introducing a number of military forms. These improvements were tested during the Peninsula War period when the Austrians formed the Fifth Coalition against France. It was during this coalition that the Legion took part in the Battle of Aspen and Essling, Napoleon's first defeat in over ten years. Ooh. So that's in there. Pretty, pretty bland to look at, really. They're not particularly gorgeous. We've got the Czech regiment here. Again, pretty bland. Quite simplistic. Kind of look like fusiliers, but with a few green strips on them. Give them that check edge. Uh, the Emperor's own here. This is uh, Francis' own uh, unit. Uh, just uh, more line infantry. But you don't really get many elite units. Oh, I've got, I've got the first Hussars here, of course. Um, yeah, they look like Hussars, but very nice uniform. I like Hussar uniforms like this. They're very nice. Uh, but, yeah, Austria doesn't get many elite units. It's part of what makes them such a challenge. They have pretty naff units, and you just got to deal with it. <laughs> Whilst fighting the most elite army on earth, you know, no big deal. Just gonna stretch these guys out a bit. Right here come the Italians. Oh, here they come. They're not doing anything right now. This is our first battle against the Russian army. Here they come, straight on, straight on. Right. I'm just going to fire on them. The Russian units are pretty untrained and undrilled because they have not done much fighting this campaign at all. War is still quite new to them. I say that, but they are firing a lot faster than we are. Sir! Well, Sir! Charlie! Our general is under attack! Look out, Charlie! Well, they're taking their time, aren't they? Blimentarians? Come on! 
wearing their national colours though. White, red, green. It's all look it's all well good looking nice, but I need you to fight for me. My elite unit's getting cut to pieces. Really cut to pieces. Yeah, we're really being outmatched here. I guess it's very hard difficulty. Yeah, we've been outperformed, that's for sure. But these guys have to face all my elite units. Well, I'd hope to let them do all the work, but in the event, the Russians came on very quickly. I wonder if they'll just die after this. I mean, they're so far away from Russia. Jeez, they've absolutely massacred our centre line. We had no chance. Wow, I don't know. I have no idea the Russian troops were so elite. They're really good. Again, I guess the very hard difficulty bonuses apply. Right, they're finally done. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, we we'll have to move around the side here. Come on, guys, take your time. What are you doing? Just run in there. Yeah, these guys are really holding their own, aren't they? Right, finally, they've made it into the... Oh, just right when everyone flees, that's when they decide to join in. Come on, attack the general. He's right there. Right, got the general. Good. And end. That'll do. I suppose I could have continued and let the Italians run them down, but... Okay, we lost way too many men. Right, that's pretty pathetic. Yeah, they can easily mob that up themselves. They won't need us for that. Um, yeah, we're a bit bruised from that. I mean, at least Tyrell was only there. Yeah, not nice. Okay, I'm going to march this army up to Linz. Uh, purely so that it's just got less far to march once it's fully replenished. Look at that green replenishment. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful. In fact, actually, I should probably go to Venice. Venice will have higher replenishment. If the Italians won in the blooming way. Right. So... It would be good to get Dresden sorted out. Are we allied with them? No. Look at our political situation. It's just crazy. We are just so dominant in Europe at the moment. Russia really is on its own. All right, I think that's all I can really... Well, I suppose I could squeeze out more, but I think I'm pretty happy with where we are here. Um, get a bit of replenishment, do some reconstruction here. These guys are marching up towards Königsberg at last. <laughs> Join the army. Um, yeah, and I'm going to hang on to it for one turn for faster replenishment for a turn. I don't know, come on, can you liberate Finland in this game? I think you can. Not, not that we need to, We're, that's Swedish territory anyway, but I can't remember. I know you can liberate Norway. Um, and in Russia, there's not much you can liberate. You can liberate Mittal, you can liberate Odessa, that's it. Once you get into here, oh, that's a huge moth just flying around. Okay, off you go. Um, that's, yeah, apart from that, everything's just, you know, Russian territory. Can't liberate anything. So let's go for it. Let's end the term. Let's 
see what happens. It's a very quiet game, this, isn't it? It's quite... I've got everything maxed out on the sound settings on the game, but can't really hear much. Yeah, see that Prussian army? It's just falling back now. I don't think the Prussians are at war with Italy. I don't think so. What you can do to Prussia if you're playing the really long game, of course. Uh, oh, they've done it! We've got ambushed. Uh, I was just saying, with, with Prussia, you know, you can liberate so many of their regions, I suppose, and gifts like Stettin, perhaps, to somebody, that um, you can cause them to be just a single Germanic city-state in Berlin. <laughs> if you really want to be masochistic. Uh, okay, we're absolutely going to do this. We love a good ambush battle. So, let's do it. That's got the uh, Middle Eastern music. <laughs> uh, let's get Seven Eve. This man, let's get him. While he's surrounded on both sides. Let's do this. Now, an ambush means that, yeah, you get to surround them like this. It's just they have no chance. Uh, fortunately, we're quite far away. Unless we can deploy... No, I can't get any closer than that. That's a shame. All right, well, here's what it is. Let's see. I'll put some artillery. I don't think artillery is going to be much use here, just purely because there's a high risk of phosphorus. And look at this. I mean, this is rubbish. We could try firing down on them long ways, I suppose. Damn yeah. This weather, sir. Wet Why not? Powder makes misfires a certainty. Yeah, we could fire on them long ways like this. And then these guys, yeah, we'll form up a line, one on this side. And then another one on this side. There we are. Um... Ooh, where do I want the cavalry? I shall put the cavalry up here, I think. Give them unfettered access to the battle. These guys are firing at will. Good. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's spring this bad boy. Let's get going. The thing is, when you attack from both sides like this, they, the AI will have no idea how to like spit his army up. And it's going to get stuck very quickly. So let's get you guys, not the general, <laughs> up here. Okay, see what happens in the first instance. All right, you guys form a square. You guys form a square. Just because these Cossacks are coming up. Excellent. These guys are ready to be ambushed on both sides. Where's the music? I'm going to turn off master and then do that, and then if I do that, maybe that will spur the music into action. Oh, that's not good. Okay, fine, that's good, they've charged us. The oh, square, quick. I thought that was all the cavalry. There was one more I hadn't seen. Okay, I'm going to have to commit some of this cavalry. The fray. I'll stop the cannons firing for now. We've got these units surrounded. Yeah, we've got all their cavalry pinned down quite nicely. No, it seems a lifetime ago that we fought the Ottomans on this ground. Can't believe that was the same campaign. 
Who so long ago? Right, let's go attack these guys. As a matter of fact, we should probably be a bit slimy and go for the general. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. That will really encourage a, a route, I think. Right, you guys can come out of that. Going in the fray. Right, yeah, perfect. Throwing our weight on the general will surely go down. Look at this. And that's turned into a square anyway, so we don't want to fight that. Got him. Lovely, lovely. Right, I'm going to charge in like that. Charge these guys as well. I'm going to just go all in on the sort of belay strategy here. I'm just going to flatten them. Cavalry fighting long and hard here. Yeah, with the general fleeing, these guys hopefully won't put up too much of a fight. Right, push on to them. Cavalry, you pull back. That's a square and you don't like those. Right, I think I've run out of spare units now. We're just going to have to make do with what we have. I think the cavalry's gone for good. Gonna gamble on that. Well, this, this ambush hasn't been as decisive as I'd, as I'd have liked, but I'm sure we'll pull through. We haven't taken too many losses, I suppose. That's a big old blob of Russians there. Okay, good, they're fleeing. Let's run them down. Our men are running! Our oh, men are really? Oh dang! Yeah. Yeah, keep running them down. Don't let that unit come back. Oops. I meant to fire the cannons into this sort of blob here, right there. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. They have decided they want to fire. There we go. Oh no, we just hit our own pen. Didn't think that would happen, but there you are. Okay, excellent. We made this big old blob over here flee. Let's go get their cannons. Get the general in to sort of inspire the men a bit. Are you guys run into the rear then. You can see the inferiority of Austrian troops here. <laughs> we have the upper hand, we have the ambushing, but we still struggle to take out units. Right, they've surrendered the guns. Good. Yeah, rally them up a bit. Yeah, finish that unit off. Good. There we go. Let's keep mopping this up. You get them. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Not now. Not at this the moment of our victory. Right, let's just destroy that unit. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Right. That will do. Close, yeah, well, yeah, it could have been better, I think. Mind you, we were deployed quite far away from them. We Springing the trap wasn't quite as effective as it could have been, I think. All right, they just pulled back, uh, but we'll get a ton of replenishment. They, oh, they do as well, but they've lost a lot of units, so it's fine.
Oh. Wow, he can move far. Okay, Sam is taking care of that. <gasps> What's going to happen here? And the Italians get beaten again. Are they going to try another time? They get beaten again. They're going to try again. No, they're not. Well, hopefully that Russian army is really depleted now, at least. Oui. Hey, Captain and Agent. Good stuff. Right, let's have a little look at cabinets with our gentleman here. Oh, it's empty. Like that. I had an enemy raid on the Austral Mark. Who did? Oh, this Grenadier unit did it. Didn't even see it. I will admit. Report. Another one of these bad boys. So I'll send that out. Join in the fun. Keep trading the ivory. Let's send some more up here. There's nothing I can do to... Unless... Oh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just being greedy and I want everything for myself. Well, at least, this, yeah, this army's looking pretty battered. But that's not to say it won't win... Oh, can we? Yeah, we can reach. Yeah, good. We'll do that now, then. Let's just get this done. So that Archduke Charles is freed up. Um, and the Italians will be safe. They're repairing all the damage, so they're clearly not short of you, Bob. And they've finished off that unit there. So let's go get Bug Lady Tolly. Yeah, he's been. they've been quite... They've got quite a bit of experience now, but they have he's and he's had success. He's fought the Italians time after time. But his men are really depleted now. There's a lot of cavalry. So let's go. Let's finish this guy off. And then Italy will be secure. I guess they were just trying to find a use for all those armies they had lying around Italy from the beginning of the campaign, I suppose. But this was quite an ill-advised move, if I do say so. Uh, let's... This is quite nice flat land. So I'm not going to deploy my cannons behind us, because then they'll be ineffective and we'll just friendly fire. So we'll just make do with territory we have. Then I'll split the army half and half. Like that. Cuts about there. Nice. Then, Charlie boy, you go there. There we go. That's a lot of units, but a lot of depleted units, so we don't have to be too nervous. That's Barclay du Tolly. Winner of many battles in the uh, Italian campaign. Hopefully we'll now meet his Waterloo. Where's the general anyway? Where is he? That's his uh, bugler. Um, where is he? Where are you, Barkley? Is that him? Can't find him. Oh well. That's a way for him to stop moving. Oh, there's that giant moth again. Get out of it. Get off my screen. Got battles to win. Okay. Right, might be wise to form a few squares. I think that's wiser. Let's get some. Can we see him yet? Yeah, there's not much tending up separating the general from his uh, staff. All look dressed the same.
Yeah, this battle shouldn't be too hard, just due to the fact that they're very depleted from all battles against Italy. But Italy's clearly not up to scratch, despite all the technology we've given them, because this one army has fought every one of their armies and won. So, uh, perhaps, I don't know if the major powers or perhaps Barclay de Tolly got a bonus for being a general, they had a bonus for having a general in their army and being a major power gives them a bonus. I have no idea. Maybe their troop quality is a bit better than Italians. I also don't know. But they were up against some heavy odds and still won. Right, yeah, we're just going to mop up these cavalry units here. Right, they're gone. Good. Now for you. Glorious victories are is soon to be yours. I'm actually going to form a square anymore. I think they're just small. Oh, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Say that, changed my mind already. Whoa, they're quick though. That was very fast. Frighteningly so. Right, this battle doesn't have to be pretty, we just have to win it. This is all that's left of the Russian army here. Yeah, they poured all their cavalry onto that cannon. Not at all a bad move. Oi! Stop chasing them. Leave them alone. What are they doing? How rude. Look at that. They're chasing my cannon crews. How rude. Not having that. There we go. Right. I stopped charging at the last minute, by the way, because I was worried I'd kill the crews of my friendly charge. So. Right. No, I can't use all the canister on these guys. Ugh. Can't commit war crimes now. Thanks, Russia. Right, go attack them. Get rid of them. There we go. I say the Russian cavalry is really quick, isn't it? See how fast those hussars just charge down that path towards our cannon crews. Oh, they can't, they've got the same bucket. Look, look, they're bugging out again. I'm trying to get them to charge this unit, but it makes them charge the other way. We just have to go on the defensive there, I think. Weird little bug, but hey, that's what gives these games their charm, eh? Imagine we had our cannons firing on that right now. Imagine the devastation. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! How dare they! In all my years, never seen such flagrant cheek. Whoa! They've still got more cavalry. They've still got two units out the back there. Right, this unit's nearly dead, so I might as well just commit with it. Getting really pressed here in the centre. Mark Lady Tolly is an old fox. He knew that 
his best chance was to throw all his weight at one particular part of the line and he's done quite he's done that very well well, I'm definitely going to destroy this unit because that's got quite a lot of experience now. Right, let's get the first Hussars out of there. I think they've done their bit. Right. These guys are quick as well. It's not good. It's certainly overwhelming that flank. Yeah, we've really been out morale this entire campaign, haven't we? Look at that. We've had to get them down to 25 men before they fled. I guess that experience is very high. But. Right, let's just mop up the last of these units. Our men are running, sir. There we go. Whoa. Well, it's like I said, it didn't have to be pretty. Just had to win. Heroic victory. Archduke Charles has fought everyone. He's fought the French, the Ottomans, the Prussians, the Russians, the Spanish. They've all fallen before him. And after that goes, I'm going to leave that to the Italians to do. We're going to march this army back. They like us? Yeah. I was wondering if I... Nah, that's a big army though. Right. Let's see. Got most of that army. Yeah, cool. Let's put these guys. Oh, no, we don't need the cavalry. So we'll put these guys into there. Good. And then we just need the cannons, and that'll be a new army ready. And. There goes Bluger, off to do who knows what. Um, and I suppose before we make peace with Prussia, we should go and attack and deal with Saxony. And once that's done, they'll be cornered in. I can't see... There was a Prussian army here somewhere. I don't know where it's gone. Could try finding them. Yeah. Maybe they disbanded it. I, I don't know. I can't see it. Uh, right. So we're going to have to do the low thing. There's nothing we can do about it. We have. We can't be an ally with them. That won't satiate the victory objectives. We need to own it or make it our protectorate. I'm going to make it our protectorate. So let's just have a look. Is there, Who are they allied with? Oh, just Prussia. So. Right. We're not allied with them. I'm not going to call my allies to help either. No need to risk any of this. We're quite confident we can win this. Going by Prussia, naturally. Right, this is sad because we had a really epic battle against Napoleon with the Prussians and the Saxons there. This feels kind of dirty. But, oh, uh, it has to be done. The campaign dictates they must die. So, a lot of their cannons... No, no cannons, sorry, was what I was going to say. They have no cannons, quite a bit of militia. Line and cavalry. This shouldn't be too hard. They've got no experience, any of these infantry units. Ours do. Ours outperform them. So, once that's done, we'll, yeah, liberate that. Then, uh, I'll sort out... Have I done the turn of the punishment here? I think I have, haven't I? Have I? Yeah, if I fix the buildings, then I have. Yeah. And look at that, we can finally um, get our Carassiers caught up to this army here after all this time. Right, let's do this. 
let's get the let's get Saxony dealt with and make this friendly. They're not going to be too friendly. I mean, the fact that we've attacked them means that as a protectorate, they're going to remember that. They won't have short memories. Um, but it's the only way to do this, unless we owned it, but then we still have a... We'll have to defend it against Berlin, which is going to be able to churn out men super quickly. So it'd be easier not to do that. Um. Oh, that's that's not their special... Well, it's one of their special buildings. They haven't built the... Uh, is it the Brandenburg Gate? Is that their special building? They haven't built that yet. They must be too poor now. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's go. Let's move in, attack, take Dresden, liberate Dresden, and give ourselves a pat on the back for... Because uh, this is an ally of... No matter how many times we break the alliance between them and Prussia, they'll just keep fixing it. So, best thing to do, take them out. Once they are protectorate, um, I suppose they, they can still make an alliance with Prussia if they wanted, but at least they'll be forced to be more closely tied with us. I'm going to put that there. I'll put this here. Nice. You guys go there. Oops, you guys. Nice big hill here. Like that. You guys there. Let's go there. Let's go there. Right. I'm sorry it's come to this, Dresden. To Saxony. I did not wish this. Oh, but they have put their cavalry together, so we're going to at least get some satisfying kills here. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Oh, yes. And this is a town battle, so as long as we win, we don't need to chase everything down, so it should be quite efficient here. Theoretically, of course. Berlin is within striking distance if we take this, but it will be very well defended. Oh, pff, look at that. See that? Rubbish. Going right into the hill. Austrian training, ladies and gentlemen. Right, here they come. Right, no shooting. I want to fire into our own squares. Whoa, what's this guy up to? Right. Gotta keep firing this direction, just in case they come that way again. Right. Might try smashing that unit with some round shot. Meanwhile, our squares are just gonna have to hold these guys off on their own. Should be able to. Nice. Right, what's that cavalry unit doing? Okay, it's sort of standing there. Menacingly. So let's just fire on it. All that, we got like two kills. What was that? Oh, I know why. This unit's firing into the hill, isn't it? Let's get it off the hill. Behind. On top of the hill. This is a bulletproof unit, isn't it? There we go. Off you go. That's them done. The thing, these are the units we've fought such a historic battle with. Alongside. We fought alongside these guys. It's so heartbreaking, isn't it? 
はい Heck, if we haven't even had that battle, I wouldn't feel bad about this at all. It's just the fact that we had that epic battle. Okay. Well, they have a lot of inventory, that's for sure. Just thinking. Do we just? I suppose we pull these guys back a bit. If we st if you stay in the woods, that'll give us a nice defense bonus. We have killed their general, oh. sir. Now they must break. Oh, jolly D. Sorry. Thanks for your help earlier. Was it even going for him? This is a happy accident. A lot of them. Hold fire a bit. A little more. There we go. Fire some canister into that unit's flank. Come on, come on, come on, let's do this. Okay. Right, so this flank's getting a bit busy now. Let's get some of this cavalry released around the side there. Perhaps try and run into them. Gosh, there's so much more inventory to deal with as well. <laughs> this is going to be huge. It's going to be a big old battle, this. Pulling back now. Okay. So be it. Most of their cavalry ended up rallying, but they're all quite weak now. Might have our unit over here fire on that one just to soften it up if we can. It's quite quite intact. land there. Nothing too, too strong, but still worth taking some pot shots at. There we go. Keep everyone away at them. Let's 
sort of making a big old blob on the left here. What's their plan, huh? Let's try some round shot on that one. Even one good hit, yeah, like that. Could take out a line of men. Yeah. Fire a long ways on him. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a slow battle at the moment. Just let things develop. I think they're trying to form some big old diagonal line there for some reason. It's probably the only way they can fit all their men in. They have so many infantry. Because they have no cannons. Um, it's just what would be cannons is replaced with cavalry and infantry. So they've just got this ginormous army. the cavalry back a little bit. I think they should be in range in a minute. Ah, nearly. They clocked on. Pull back, everyone. You're outmatched. Let's give them the high ground. Lull them into a false sense of confidence. And we'll just fire at them. Meanwhile, I'm going to take out this land bear unit because it's just on its own under here. Again, town battle, so no need to run everything down. Just need them to flee. There we go. Right, let's pull the cavalry back again. To lie dormant until needed again. Right, it's taken out a couple of units. Might pull back a little more. It's because that slope's a bit of a disadvantage for us to fire up. That's more even ground. You guys. Yeah, if you could take out these guys. Gosh, it looks like when you look at the map, it looks like you've barely made any dent in this. So many more units to deal with. Let's deal with them one by one, I guess. I wish we had fire by rank in this. Pretty fire in advance, but they. It takes them ages to set up the formation required to do it. That is not worth doing, in my eye. I think it's a waste of time. It looks good. It looks really good. It's cool, but not very practical. Whenever I see Fire in Advance, I always think in Zulu, and they do that Fire in Advance bit. 
Carlos Sergeant Bourne leads the um, counter-attack. The final... Oh, well, not counter-attack, is it? It's more of a way to hold off some Zulus for a bit. So good. That's a great form. So quotable as well. Right. Bosh, bash. Right, that's... Got them to shatter, good. Let's get them back again. Just bleeding them dry in this way. Slowly but surely. Right. Just going to charge this unit. It's in the trees. It's turned into the Viet Cong. Meanwhile, let's let the cannons deal with this unit. Right. Looking like a lot less infantry now on the board. I can shatter even better. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. Yeah, looking a lot thinner on the ground now. Let's see what their next move is. Oh, they might be calling for a surrender, but... They say no. Sir! Sir! Oh, I'm not sure why they got rid of attack. fire by rank in this game. They had it in Empire. I'm really not sure. Because I don't think you can unlock it by research, can you? Yeah, it's just weird they took it out. So you see, it, it's really satisfying when they use it in Waterloo at the end. When Maitland's troops spring the trap on the old guard and they just fire by rank. Over and over into the old guard. It's so satisfying. Imagine having that in this game. Oh well. Phew. That's pretty devastating. Let's do it again. Little more. Bosh. Bash back. <laughs> that just tore holes, literal holes in that unit. Very nice. Right, we're mopping up now. Dresden is nearly ours. Then, the main target will be Russia in the east. We only have one more victory region we need. Right, there's a unit here somewhere. There it is. Okay. Right, they're coming back for round two. For some reason. Fancy more of it. Right, they're off. Good. Yeah. They're in canister range, baby.
Nice. Right, just got the. Looks like we just got this cavalry at the back now to deal with. They're committing it. Looks like it. I have to. We've got no choice. Now oh, this unit's come back, and it's formed a square. The AI special. <laughs> Alright, well they'll just come on wherever they want, and then we'll deal with them as they. Get near us. Just form a square there. A little precautionary measure. Same with you. I doubt they're going to. Oh, I was thought they weren't going to reach us, but too late. Yeah, yeah, just too late. This one. That's them, and they've given up at last. It's done. Dresden is ours. And we will liberate. Oh, they've given us a general. Engelbert Vogel. Nice to meet you, sir. You can station yourself in Prague. New nation destroyed Saxony, nation arises Saxony. Right, let's see how much they hate us for that. Ooh, they like us. Oh, they don't have a grudge. That's good. Um I'll give them some technology. Get them going. Perfect. Right, let's pull this army back to... Let's put it back towards Vienna. Well, didn't even need that army for the big push in the in the north. Right, so this army is more or less ready. Let's send it east. Yes, yeah, so we have two options. We can take, well, it doesn't really matter. Once we take Kamenets for ourselves or give it to a protector, it doesn't really matter. That will give us a victory now. Um, but um, I was just thinking we could, like, gift a lot of these regions that we take uh, over to Poland again. But it's not that important at this point. Where's that? It just reminds me, though. What's, um... Yeah, this army's okay. I'm going to actually I'll put it here. I'm going to let it rest up a bit and also get keep an ambush position. Meanwhile let's hear of your unworthy petition. What's their problem? Ugh, give them freedom. And this is how they repay us. Well, I give you a state gift, first of all. Just to be really nice. Then, I will gift you an empire. I'll even give you top gallants for no reason. And I'll even gift you the diamond formation. Oh, yes. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I mean it. There we go. Look at that. Poland with a little extra in Konigsberg. 
Uh, these guys, I could have them. I think I'd theoretically have them march east. So I'd probably strike at Courland, then maybe Vilnius or Riga. And I'd give those to Poland. And... Yeah. Now look at us. Yeah, we're just back. Apart from the Balkans, actually. We are just back to our original holdings. But we have so much influence over Europe. Look at that. Um, and we could probably sign some kind of peace treaty with Prussia before they sneak up and take something. They were raiding us somewhere, weren't they? Yeah, here. I suppose we could wait one more turn. Let's just see what they get up to. Um. Yeah, Bavaria is getting nice and strong again. And yeah, just I'm just sorry, I'm just um went quite far with that. I'm just sort of like reviewing our situation. I mean, we are pretty much done now. Uh, this army's been held up a bit just because they've got some armies here they need to hold off. But we've got plenty of men now freed up to march east. That one, that one's nearly ready. That army's just replenishing. Charles is done, but he can march east. So everyone's quite far away, but all we have to do is march on cabinets and take it, and that's the game. So, because yeah, we've got everything we need. Total number of victory regions held, it's fine. More than fine. Uh, but we need our last victory region, which, yeah, I think I, I think if I was still playing the long game. No, I suppose I'd probably actually hang on to it. Maybe. But I might give it to Poland. This is just you know purely hypothetical. It doesn't matter once we take it, we've won. So, um, yeah. But I think I'd give. We could take Lithuania, for example. Holland. Minsk, perhaps? And Kamenets. And we could give that all to Poland. Be a bit of an ugly border. <laughs> but if we gave them Galicia, hypothetically... I wouldn't want to, but if we did, that would be kind of like old Poland, I guess. But I'm not giving them Galicia. That's mine. So... Not that, I mean, that's all hypothetical. It doesn't matter. It's just... Um, yeah, but... Surely they like us now. No, nope, still don't like us. How about... Another state gift? And then how about... Another state gift? And how about... More fine china and jewellery? That we've stolen from French baggage trains. And they still don't like us. But I think they're, they're liking us more and more. Spain really don't like us. Russia not terribly popular with the world. Oh, we are so stinking powerful now. I'll just sort out... Oh no, I've done the ships. So I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, yeah. Our armies are in good positions. And Poland's been sorted out. Prussia's been pushed right back to here. They're not going to be a threat. They can't actually reach us now. That's the beauty of having protectorates like this. They can't actually reach you. If you do it all right. If you do it right. Then we've got Italy nice and secure now. Yep, yeah, all we need to do is march east and win the game. So I'm probably going to do that in the next episode, guys. So don't miss any of it. I'll catch you the next one. Take care.